What's up, Tree fans? I'm here in Ithaca, New York. This is Akiva Silver. I'm looking at a hackberry tree. It's a big one here. Well, most of them are pretty big. This one's average. It's probably 60 feet tall. Right here by this waterfall. That's the sound you're hearing. Anyway, the hackberry is an incredible wildlife tree, Celtis occidentalis. It's right now, it's February something, and this tree's covered in fruit. We'll zoom in here. Let's see. See if we can get a good shot. See all those little berries up there? Those berries are absolutely excellent wildlife food. Let's get a closer look at some of them. I've been uh, throwing sticks up into the tree and knocking the fruit down and collecting it in my bucket here. Been working for about a half an hour, and I've got got these uh, these berries. So. You can eat them, for sure. They are definitely edible. One of the oldest oldest known foods to humans, actually. The outside of the berry has this uh, purple, fleshy coating. Tastes a lot like a date. And then under that is a shell. And the shell is, is thin enough that you can bite it, but it does, it's thick enough that it hurts your teeth a little bit. There's the, that's how thin the fruit part is. And then underneath that shell is a seed. And that seed is really good. Uh, high, it tastes really good. It's high in protein and fat. Just a really excellent, excellent source of food for birds. And what's going to happen is now there's all these berries on this tree, and it's February. It's, it's almost March, and as soon as the cedar waxwings come back, and a lot of other migrating songbirds come back, they're just going to clean this tree out. So I'm here getting my seeds while I can before the birds are back. One of the easiest ways to identify hackberry trees is the bark. It's a super weird, quirky bark. Let's see, you can see it's kind of look uh, almost like like layers of rock. It looks like you know, like uh, on the side of a canyon. Um, I was with a group of kids, and they call it the rougher bumper tree. It's this, these ridges are pretty significant. You know, my finger can fit easily uh, in these grooves. So that's uh, hackberry bark. And what a beautiful tree. They're, they're actually closely related to elms. And they have a, a fairly hard wood. It's a white wood. It's pretty strong. It's really nice. But just like incredible living bird feeders. And almost all forms of wildlife will, will eat the fruit off this tree. There's other species besides Celtis occidentalis. But this is a species native to the east coast of the U.S. Hackberry has got to be... One of the most horrible names that really turns people off from this incredible uh, native tree, which is too bad. I think uh, it could be called, a, it looks like somebody put a piece of gum on that tree. It could be called the sugarberry or a Celtus tree. Either way, just fantastic, fast growing, super tough, adaptable tree. It'll grow out of almost any soil and it'll grow really fast. A lot of cities actually plant them because they're so good at dealing with poor soils so I'm gonna take these seeds home and I'm just gonna leave them in my bucket on the porch um, protected they'll be protected from squirrels and mice and stuff I'll put I'll put a top on that and then I'll, I'll take those seeds home leave them in the bucket and then in May about May 1st when I'm when I'm not worried about late frosts when I'm not worried about frost anymore I'll put these heckberry seeds in the ground and I'll just plant them about as deep as they are big. So that's a general rule for all seeds. So if a seed is half an inch wide, then you plant it half an inch deep. And I'll cover them with a light mulch, and then they'll sprout. And uh, they'll grow about 12 inches the first year in good soil. And uh, by the second year, if I don't transplant them, they'll be like three or four feet. Um, but if they do sprout, and then it's going to frost, you have to cover them. Otherwise, the frost will totally kill the kill the seedling at a young at when they're you know first emerging all right thank you for watching Celtis occidentalis plant more hackberry trees the world could certainly use them one more shot of this this amazing tree boom